machine installation. The sheet machine is packaged in a box and placed on a pallet. Extract the working top and the trolley. Now assemble the trolley. Take the part of the trolley fitted with the wheels. Lock the wheels with the brake levers. Insert the first cross piece inside the groove and bring it close to the hole in the trolley. Use the provided Torx key to fasten the screw. Repeat the operation with the second cross piece. Turn the obtained structure until the screws on the free ends of the two cross pieces face up. Assemble the remaining part of the trolley by inserting the screws in the corresponding profiles as previously done. Tighten the two screws. Put the trolley in working position and place the covers on the ends of the profile. Take the machine out of its packaging by removing the two screws which fasten it to the pallet. With the help of a second person, take the machine out of the box and place it onto the trolley. Make sure that the holes on the chassis are aligned with the holes on the trolley. Insert the connecting screws between the machine and the trolley. Assemble the working top. Loosen the four screws on the front top. Use a 5mm Allen key. Place the working top on the screws, then tighten them. Remove the strap of the power cable. Put the control pedal on the ground. Connect the power plug. Switch on the machine with the main switch. Release the mushroom emergency button. Remove the protection paper. And finally, select the forward travel direction. The machine is now ready to operate. Complete removal of the paper and plastic film, polythene. Bring the travel direction selector to zero. Then press the mushroom emergency button and finally switch off the machine from the main switch. Cut the polythene and remove the roll. Put back the external chuck. Now cut the adhesive tape. Close back the roll and remove it. Finally, put back the external chuck. Cut the polythene on the unwinder roller. Cut the strip and remove the roll. Put the chuck back on the shaft. Unlock the flange of the blade support shaft, turn the shaft by half a turn and remove it. Place the blades in a safe position on the top. With the cutting edge facing down. Remove the plexiglass guard by pushing on the central part. Fully lift the two infeed rollers with the help of the pressure adjustment handle. Remove the idler roller from its housing. Remove the external shock absorber and then the top exit roller. Remove the separation sheet from its housing. 
Remove the remaining coupled paper in polythene. The machine is now disassembled. Inserting the rolls in the machine. Inserting the polythene roll. Make sure that the polythene roll faces the right direction. It must unwind on the left side. Once placed on the silicone roller, make sure that the writing is in the right position, as indicated. Insert the polythene between the two infid rollers and move it forward on the machine top. Put the adhesive roll in position, then insert it through the opening between the working top and the front tray. Bring the adhesive in contact with the polythene and feed the adhesive between the rollers while pulling the polythene. The coupled sheet will come out of the machine. Increase the pressure between the rollers. Switch on the machine, release the mushroom emergency button and select the travel direction. Remember that for safety reasons, the machine cannot operate because there is no plexiglass guard in front of the infeed rollers. Assemble the guard. Now the machine is ready to operate. Insert the empty unwinder roller. Separate the polythene coming out of the machine from the paper and place the polythene with the adhesive layer onto the unwinder roller. Place the separation sheet to the right of the coupled paper and polythene. and fasten it with the appropriate screw. Operate the machine while accompanying with your hands the paper which comes out of it. Now put the top exit roller in the right position and fasten it with its shock absorber until the notch is aligned with the top edge of the slot. Operate the machine and check that the tapes are fed correctly. Release the tension of the unwinder roller and insert the separation roller. Insert the blade support shaft on the top infeed roller with the blades facing inwards. While pressing on the flange, rotate the shaft in anti-clockwise direction by half a turn until the flange is fully locked. Make sure that the blades correctly cut the polythene. Finally, fit the tape by at least 50 cm. Separate the central plastic strip from the two side strips. This operation shall be carried out manually above the separation sheet. Now insert the central strip under the top exit roller. Follow the feed until the central strip is inserted in the appropriate groove in the collection plate. Pull the strip until it is placed on the unwinder roller. Roll replacement Adhesive roll
Ensure the machine is safe by pressing the mushroom emergency button and switching it off. Cut the tape, then remove the external chuck and the roll that needs replacing. Insert the new roll. Make sure that the adhesive side faces the ground. Put back the external chuck to lock the roll into place. Unwind the adhesive and slide it between the infid roller and the working top. Join it with the tape that is still in the machine. The new and the old tape must overlap by at least 15 cm. The new tape shall be placed under the old tape which is still in the machine. Switch the machine back on and release the mushroom emergency button. Kia 100 is now ready to operate. Polythene roll. Ensure the machine is safe by pressing the mushroom emergency button and switching it off. Cut the polythene. Make sure that a 30-40 cm strip comes out of the plexiglass guard so as to perform the joint correctly. Extract the roll. Take a packing adhesive tape. Cut a strip that is slightly longer than the width of the polythene roll. Insert the new polythene roll and ensure it faces the right direction. The roll must unwind on the left side. Make sure that the writing is in the correct position, as shown in the video. Put the adhesive tape strip you have previously cut on the initial part of the polythene roll. Put the adhesive tape strip you have previously cut on the initial part of the polythene roll. Now join the two tapes, making sure they overlap by about 5 cm. Switch the machine back on and release the mushroom emergency button. Feed the polythene forward so that the side edges of the packing adhesive tape can be closed. Proceed with caution until the joint edges have moved past the separation sheet. Gear 100 is now ready to operate. Unwinder roller. Ensure the machine is safe by pressing the mushroom emergency button and switching it off. Make a cut on the top part of the unwinder roller. Remove the first layer of unwound polythene and place it on the new polythene roll. Remove the unwinder roller. Clean it by making a series of incisions until the polythene with the adhesive is entirely removed from the core. Place the chuck back in the machine and join the free edges. Do not forget the central strip. Switch the machine back on and release the mushroom emergency button. Kia 100 is now ready to operate. Realignment of the rollers. With the machine in operating conditions, bring the operating pressure between the two infeed rollers to the maximum. Insert the roller realignment tool in working position, as shown. 
Screw the tool control until the tip of the tool rests on the blue connecting rod. Now loosen the screw which fastens the roller shaft to the connecting rod with a 6mm Allen key. Operate the machine to make sure that the rollers are correctly positioned. If the tape moves towards the housing and creates a wave on the opposite side, the tool control must be tightened. If the tape moves away from the housing and generates a wave on the side of the housing, the tool control must be loosened. When the paper is nicely flat on both sides, the screw that fastens the roller shaft to the connecting rod must be fully tightened. Then, unscrew the tool control until it is released from its position. Keep maximum pressure between the rollers and operate the machine. Check that the paper is flat. Reduce the pressure by about four turns of the handle and check again the paper flatness. If the paper is no longer flat after removing the alignment tool, repeat the operation. Assembling the 250 meter roll kit. Ensure the machine is safe by pressing the mushroom emergency button and switching it off. Cut the adhesive tape, remove the external chuck and then the adhesive roll. Remove the internal chuck with the help of a 4mm Allen key. Now remove the entire support shaft by unscrewing the two screws which fasten it to the structure using the same Allen key. Attach the extension bracket to the external side of the machine wall, as shown. Make sure you place the screw, the two bushes and finally the nut in the right sequence. Securely fasten the bracket with the help of the 4mm Allen key and an 8mm spanner. Insert the support brake shaft of the adhesive roll and block it with the screw that have been previously removed. Insert the internal chuck and fasten it with a 4mm Allen key. Insert the adhesive roll and finally assemble the external chuck. Unwind the adhesive tape and slide it between the infit roller and the working top. Join it with the tape that is still in the machine. The new and the old tape must overlap by at least 15 centimeters. The new tape must be placed under the old tape which is still in the machine. Switch the machine back on and release the mushroom emergency. Kia 100 is now ready to operate. Replacement of the gear motor. This operation can only be carried out by specialized staff or employees of the manufacturer. Disassembly To disassemble the machine, make sure it is in safe conditions. Switch off the machine, rotate the blade support shaft so that the blades face the roller, remove the plexiglass guard and then remove the five screws which fasten the casing using a 7mm range. Now the casing is only fastened to the machine through the two connectors, one on the engine and one on the safety micro switch. Move the casing so that you can work inside it. Be particularly careful at this stage. Risk to cut or crush your fingers. 220 volts voltage. If necessary, 
let the machine move forward until the grub screw which fastens the engine gear to its shaft is in vertical position so as to facilitate the disassembly. To this purpose, switch on the machine and manually close the blade safety microswitch. Finally, turn off the power and unplug the machine from the mains. Remove the two connectors. Cut the bands which fasten the cables inside the casing and separate the casing from the machine. Now loosen the grub screw on the gear without removing it. Use a 4mm Allen key. Loosen the four screws which fasten the gear motor to the machine using a 13mm wrench, thus reducing the tension of the drive chain. Then remove them completely. Pay particular attention when removing the last one. While extracting the last screw, support the gear motor assembly as it now has no support. Hold the gear with one hand and with the other continue supporting the gear motor assembly while moving it towards the inside of the machine, thus separating the two components from each other. Now the gear motor is only connected to the power cable. Open the terminal bays and disconnect the cables. Reassembly. Reconnect the power cables, three phase and earth, on the engine. Put them in the same positions as before. Place the gear motor in such a way that the shaft goes through the machine wall and insert the gear under the drive chain with the grub screw hole facing up. Align it to the gear motor output shaft. Connect the gear to the gear motor output shaft. While still supporting the gear motor, insert the fastening screws of the gear motor without blocking them. Adjust the chain tension by manually moving the group along the vertical axis until the right tension is obtained, about 3 cm movement halfway along the upper part. Now tighten the screws. Use the pedal to move the engine forward so that the flat part of the shaft is aligned with the gear grub screw. Be particularly careful at this stage. Risk to cut or crush your fingers. 220 volts voltage. To carry out this operation, connect the casing, switch on the machine, manually close the blade safety micro switch and press the pedal. As a consequence, the shaft inside the gear will rotate. Once you have finished, turn off the power and unplug the machine from the mains. Now align the gear of the gear motor to the rest of the transmission. With the help of a caliper, make sure that the distance from the wall is the same for all gear wheels. Tighten the grub screw which connects the gear to the shaft. Fasten the casing to the machine with the five screws you have previously removed. Mount the plexiglass guard and place the blade support shaft back to its working position by rotating it inside its seat. Reducer replacement. This operation can only be carried out by specialized staff or employees of the manufacturer. Disassembly. To disassemble the machine, make sure it is in safe conditions. Switch off the machine, rotate the blade support shaft so that the blades face the roller, remove the plexiglass guard and then remove the five screws which fasten the casing using a 7mm wrench. Now the casing is only fastened to the machine through the two connectors, one on the engine and one on the safety micro switch. Move the casing so that you can work inside it. Be particularly careful at this stage. Risk to cut or crush your fingers. 220 volts voltage. If necessary, 
let the machine move forward until the grub screw which fastens the engine gear to its shaft is in vertical position so as to facilitate the disassembly. To this purpose, switch on the machine and manually close the blade safety micro switch. Finally, turn off the power and unplug the machine from the mains. Remove the two connectors. Cut the bands which fasten the cables inside the casing and separate the casing from the machine. Now loosen the grub screw on the gear without removing it. Use a 4mm Allen key. Loosen the four screws which fasten the gear motor to the machine using a 13mm wrench, thus reducing the tension of the drive chain. Then remove them completely. Pay particular attention when removing the last one. While extracting the last screw, support the gear motor assembly as it now has no support. Hold the gear with one hand and with the other continue supporting the gear motor assembly while moving it towards the inside of the machine, thus separating the two components from each other. Now the gear motor is only connected to the power cable. Open the terminal bays and disconnect the cables. On a working surface, remove the screw which fastens the shaft to the reducer with the help of a 13mm wrench and extract the shaft. Pay particular attention to the tab which remains on the shaft. Remove the four screws which fasten the flange to the reducer with a 5mm Allen key. Now remove the four screws which fasten the reducer to the engine with an 8mm wrench and separate them by pulling along the engine axis. Pay attention to the tab on the engine shaft. Reassembly. Connect the engine and the reducer. Make sure that the tab and the groove on the reducer shaft are correctly coupled and that the reducer and the engine terminal bays are facing in the right direction. If this is not the case, it is impossible to reassemble all components due to their sizes and shapes. Insert the three connecting screws between the engine and the reducer. The fourth cannot be removed. Now tighten all four screws with an 8mm wrench. Reassemble the flange and fasten it in position with four screws. Use a 5mm Allen key. Insert the tab on the shaft and insert this in the hollow shaft of the reducer. Pay attention to the position of the tab and the groove in the reducer hub. Insert the screw and fasten the shaft to the reducer with a 13mm wrench. Reconnect the power cables, three phase and earth, on the engine. Put them in the same positions as before. Place the gear motor in such a way that the shaft goes through the machine wall and insert the gear under the drive chain with the grub screw hole facing up. Align it to the gear motor output shaft. Connect the gear to the gear motor output shaft. While still supporting the gear motor, insert the fastening screws of the gear motor without blocking them. Adjust the chain tension by manually moving the group along the vertical axis until the right tension is obtained, about 3 cm movement halfway along the upper part. Now tighten the screws. Use the pedal to move the engine forward so that the flat part of the shaft is aligned with the gear grub screw. Be particularly careful at this stage. Risk to cut or crush your fingers. 220 volts voltage. To carry out this operation, connect the casing, switch on the machine, manually close the blade safety micro switch and press the pedal. As a consequence, the shaft inside the gear will rotate. Once you have finished, turn off the power and unplug the machine from the mains. 
Now align the gear of the gear motor to the rest of the transmission. With the help of a caliper, make sure that the distance from the wall is the same for all gear wheels. Tighten the grub screw which connects the gear to the shaft. Fasten the casing to the machine with the five screws you have previously removed. Mount the plexiglass guard and place the blade support shaft back to its working position by rotating it inside its seat. Repairing the black chucks. Remove the external chuck, then cut the adhesive or polythene film. Finally, remove the roll. Now the internal chuck, the one with the fault, can be accessed. Follow the repair instructions provided to make the necessary holes. Hole diameter 10.5 mm and depth 15 mm. Now prepare the tool to house the insert. The tool includes an M8 screw, an M8 nut and a 15 mm spacer and is provided with the chuck repair kit. The insert is fastened manually. Fully tighten it with the help of a 6 mm Allen key. Now, using a 13 mm wrench and the 6 mm Allen key, loosen the nut and remove the screw used as an operating screw. Now, clean the seat from any plastic shavings. Place back the headless screw and fasten the chuck to the shaft. It is now possible to fit the roll. Assembly of the collection basket. Place the C-shaped support on the machine trolley, on the machine output side. Make sure that the lower edge is inserted in the groove of the cross piece of the machine trolley. Now insert the two hammers in the aluminium cross piece groove. Loosen the hammer screws so that these can take on the right position inside the groove. Rotate in the opposite direction the same screws. Block the trolley support structure and finally fully tighten the two screws. Hook the basket to its support by connecting the slots to the bushes on the support. 